Welcome back to Renegade Reviews. Hey guys, welcome back to Renegade Reviews. Renegade here. Now we're going to be having a look at Ultimate Captain America. He's from Series 1, number 12. He's the first character in the second wave of the Marvel Universe figures back when they first started out. Got the card art here. Better look at it on the card that came with him for the file. Um, you can see they actually reversed the image for that. But, uh, yeah, looking cool on the card here. And then we've got his file. And this file, file is from Reed Richards to Tony Stark. And it's kind of about Ultimate Captain America and about maybe going and getting him. And bringing him to the 616 world after the death of Captain America in Civil War. And that is my favorite letter included in a file up until we got the Juggernaut one. Because I was just intrigued by it because everybody was like, oh, why'd they make the ultimate Captain America and not the other one? And, you know, that actually gives a, not maybe the best reason for not making the single card Captain America. But it, it justifies it to me at least. So, this figure, guys, is very cool. Um, for the starting out of the entire Marvel Universe line, he was really a standout, excellent character. Oh, and sorry about that. Go ahead and pause if you want to uh, read that now. And now jumping back. So yeah, this figure is very well represents what Ultimate Captain America is. And is a very good figure by the early Hasbro. This is one of the molds that they did just excellently well. You can see he doesn't have the wings. That's the main difference in their look from the Ultimate one. He also has pouches on his arms and his legs. And uh, I think the, I think Captain America doesn't usually have a belt, I'm thinking. I don't have a picture readily near me right now, but I'm not, I'm not positive on that. I know the figure does, but I'm not positive if... Captain America usually does. Anyway, guys, good articulation on this guy. He move, his head moves all the way around. Arms have free motion. And the to do the shield quick, guys, the shield is very good. This was an excellent accessory very early on for him. Has the clip on here for his uh, arm to clip onto. And that can get loose sometimes as you use it, but all around it's fine. And you can stabilize it with the, with the shield. If you need to, you take the shield like this, bend both ends over that way, and it'll tighten the straps, and those can help support on the arm, too. Again, just to show you on this one, you're going to take it like that, and voila. Now those are tucked in, so they won't be an issue, so you can go like that, or you can slide his arm in there, and they'll actually help hold it on if that clip should fail. But it does work really well with him and everything. It's, it's a great accessory. Um, he rotates at the glove there, and then he also rotates at the top of his boot, which was a stranger point of articulation. Foot there. This is a very good mold. He has the waist joint, which is hindered by the belt quite a bit, but you know you can get a bit of movement out of it, which is all you really need. And then he does turn all the way around at the torso, as well as move up and down very well for the early Marvel Universe figures. This was a great figure, guys, right out of the shoot for her. Hasbro, uh, and he's just a fun figure to have, especially as we're getting some more Ultimate characters in. I'm sure we'll get an Ultimate Thor, possibly. We're getting Ultimate Iron Man, Ultimate Nick Fury's out there, if you're willing to get the four-pack, which I haven't coughed up the money for yet, but he's a very cool figure. Uh, just to do a size comparison with him, because going forth with my reviews, I think I am going to switch over. I'm going to start using this guy for my size comparisons. Instead of Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler's going to go back downstairs to be with the X-Men. But, uh, as you can see, he stands well in height with those. And, uh, yeah, guys, excellent figure here. Excellent character. One of my favorite Avengers of all time. Possibly my favorite Avenger. Uh, just a really cool representation of a really cool character. And yeah, guys, I don't really have a lot else to say, so great paint apps on it. This is Renegade, signing off.